Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Sonaray product mini webinar on the new Luma Wedge High Bay series product. And we thank you guys, everybody, for attending. So uh, we're open for business here at Sonaray, shipping product every day, good availability. So if you need any help, anything you need, give us a call. Uh, Robert Seward, who is our national sales manager, is going to take us through the new product here, the Luma Wedge. And so with that, we'll turn it over to Robert. Hello, everybody. Uh, we'll get started here on the Luma Wedge, uh, which is our new uh, high bay. This is actually a picture of the 90 and the 260. You'll see some others coming up. Uh, the big thing with these is the modular. So being able to adjust the wedges that you see here, um, instead of coming straight down uh, and being more um, in the face of, say, a forklift operator, you can tilt them where they hit the uh, racks from side to side. They eliminate the glare, and they eliminate that direct output to the, the person themselves. We're about 200, or excuse me, about 160 lumens per watt. Uh, so the 90 watt here pictured is right about 14,000 lumens. The 260 on the bottom is about 41,000 lumens. Uh, we do have some different mounting options available. So you have a hook that you see here. That's our pretty standard one. We do have the option of the three-quarter inch rigid mount as well. Uh, just needs to be specified once the order is given. Uh, there also, you'll see here on the top right corner, AK09 is your impact resistance. So there's no glass in these wedges at all. They're polycarbonate. So if they get hit with a basketball or a volleyball or whatever it may be, there's no uh, issue with shattering. It also has the IP65 rating for dust and water. So if you need to use these in the exterior option, uh, there is no issue with it. If they get pressure washed, if they get leaked on, uh, they're sealed up. So there's no problem with these getting wet whatsoever. Uh, each of the wedges that have the polycarbonate has a standard 80 degree beam angle. Um, again, you can change that angle with the tilt of the wedge, and I'll show you here later on through a video on how to do that. Uh, they typically come black. I'm not saying we wouldn't be able to match a color. There would be some lead times involved, but definitely reach out to us if that's an issue. Uh, go ahead, Ron. So these are more extensive pictures of the different wattages. Again, you've got the 90 with the two wedges, 14,000 lumen. You've got the three wedge, 135 watt. That's right at 21,000 lumens, which is your typical 400 watt metal halide equivalent. Uh, we've got the four wedge uh, at uh, 28,000 lumen, and your six wedge, the 260 watt, uh, is right a little over 41,000 lumens. So very good uh, price points on these fixtures. We're very competitive. Uh, we do have the five-year warranty on them. Our warranty is a little different. So if you have any failure at all, whether it's a chip that you're noticing not working, one of the wedges is not working, reach out to us. We will send you a new fixture during that five years, and you can um, replace the old fixture and put the new fixture up at the same time. That limits the uh, cost of the contractor and or end user. Um, definitely a different look here, which we're kind of excited about. It's not your tra traditional high bay, uh, and just the different ways you can use them. So warehouses are an option, uh, industrial applications, even if they get sprayed down. Uh, if you have, a, say, a food processing center, you name it, it, the applications for these are very diverse. And again, no glass involved, so there's no danger of any uh, material falling down, anything getting broken. Uh, they're very durable. Uh, go ahead, Ron. I will start my video here and just show you a couple ways or a couple options on this fixture here. So I have the 135 watt here. Again, 21,000 lumen, probably one of our most popular because it is a 400 watt uh, metal halide replacement. The nice thing is, again, no tools required. If you want to angle that fixture and you can see here uh, the different, and it's, in, it's no set. You can change it to that way or even there. Uh, you can also use them for uplighting. So if you actually had the fixture hanging uh, in a pool, for instance, is the job that we're working on. They're using a six wedge. Three of these will be pointed straight up for uplighting, and then three of them would be pointed straight down for your tr traditional high bay. We also have a smart panel in these fixtures. Now, standard, they come with no motion sensor or anything, but if you request it, 
Uh, it is an, uh, an additional cost, but inside this smart panel will go a system where it has four, uh, 16 toggle switches. So you can change it from a standard on and off. You can have it where, uh, say you want step down motion. So if nothing um, is moving for 30 minutes, it'll dim itself down to 50% or 30% or whatever you set the uh, program for. Then if nothing moves for an additional 10 minutes, it may turn itself off. Again, how you have it set. It also comes with daylight harvesting. So you can use that uh, sensor as well. And everything stays within this smart panel. It's actually covered on the inside, so it does not affect the IP65 rating. It does not affect the IKO rating. But it also gives you a little bit more control over the fixture. Uh, you can see here on the mounting, this is the traditional hook. So we'll come with a clevis just in case they need it. Um, we can do the rigid mount. So you'd have your three quarter inch rigid uh, conduit coming out of the ceiling. It would thread right in. And it also comes with all your safety cable. So there's no extra additive. These will automatically come. If you don't want to use them, you can take them off. But if you do need them, they're already on there. This will give you a little bit, maybe better picture of the optics. And all, each one of these uh, are at an 80 degree beam angle. But again, you can change it by tilting it. So this would be a, tradi uh, a typical uh, tilt that we've seen people use. And you can kind of see the look of it. And then this would actually look like underneath. And at this time, I will turn it back over to Ron and he can conclude. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate that update. So any questions uh, on this, please give us a call here. Uh, we're available, as I mentioned, and have good availability product and support for you. And I uh, want to invite you to May 14th. We'll have another product mini webinar on the OB light bar. So at 2 o'clock Eastern time, I hope we can make it to, to that. And thank you very much for your attendance.